hello guys and welcome back to the channel today i'll be showing you guys how to cut an agbada step by step so here is the fabric we're going to use i'm making two but the two is actually for a for the same person but the person is just the two agbada is for the same person so i'll be cutting one and i'll be using the same one to call the other one so i want you guys to pay attention to this video so if you're taking an agbada measurement all you need is the length of your sleeve that's from your shoulder you need your shoulder sleeve your, sh your shoulder measurement sorry your shoulder measurement and your sleeve length your shoulder measurement and your sleeve length right and your length of the agbada from the shoulder to your knee how long you want it to be so now on this one our shoulder is going to be 18 and our length is going to be 40 and our sleeve length is going to be 22 right so without further ado let's cut this step by step so as you can see i already fold this into two so the the first one i'll be cutting is going to be the front this is going to be the front of the agbada so i'm folding this with my shoulder measurement so my shoulder measurement is 18 inches right so I'm going to add an extra one inch to that for the inseam allowance. You can see that. So I have my 19 inches total. So I believe you get that. I'm trying to like, I'm trying to like make this simple for you guys. So I already fold my fabric into two. You see that? So if you use this formula, it will be easier for you guys to get, get it more faster. So the next thing I'm going to measure now is going to be my length. So my length is going to be a total of 40, right? The length of the agbada itself so i'm going to add an extra three inches to that for the inseam allowance the reason for that is because you can use less than less than um three but i want the aiming to be full i want it to be full so that it will be so that it will be balanced very well if you use anything lesser than three sometimes it won't be straight and sometimes that's why i use a large aiming for my even senators sometimes so i'm going to measure my length which is going to be 43 also i'm going to add an extra one inches to that 43 that will be for the inseam allowance on the shoulder right so that will make the total of the length to be 44 i'll be joining the shoulder that's for the one inch that i want to add to it so making a total of making a total of 40 four so i'm going to mark my 44 at the down part i'm going to mark it at the other side also i believe you guys can see that so i'm just going to like um connect the two lines together and i'm just going to cut it out So after cutting it out, this is where I want you guys to pay attention at. After cutting it out, now we have the front of our agbada looking like this. You can see that. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to. You can see those side, the the front side is joined together. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to slit this side open. You can see that. I'm just going to slit that side open very simple so after slitting that side open the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm so here we have the thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to this side is very straight very smooth because I cut it myself so that's where my joining is going to be so I'm going to join it together on the machine now. So this is going to be the front of the agbada. This is where the design is going to be. So why joining it together? I'm going to top stitch. So one has to be longer than the other. You get? So now I already joined it. You can see what I mean by top stitching. So that the fabric will not be obvious. You can see that. So this is the... This is the right side of the fabric, you can see, while this is the wrong side. So I'm just going to like 
wrong side that's the wrong side so this is exactly the front of our agbada so i was assuming you guys don't have possibly you don't have an embroidery machine so you have to like give this to an embroidery man to run the embroidery for you so this is where you're going to take for an embroidery man so this is where your design is going to be so if you don't get this you can rewatch the video and follow the video step by step that's the basic of how you're going to get a basic agbada on how to do it so i believe you guys understand this so the next thing we're going to cut now is going to be the length the extension of the sleeve from the shoulder you get and we're going to have an, another extension on this side so in order to get the extension is i told you before you have to measure your sleeve length that's from your shoulder to the length in which you want the agbada to be there are different kind of agbada that i said in the in my previous video which include the mini and the maxi so on this one i'm making a maxi so from my shoulder my sleeve length is going to be 22 right 22 so i'm going to add an extra two three inches to that also which will make it a total of 25 right i'll be cutting an extension of 25 at the sleeve now so let me fold my fabric and show you guys so now i already fold my fabric so i want you guys to pay attention into this i fold this into two also but you can see the upper side is still joined together so I fold it just like this so that I can have a double, double fabric like direct. You get that? So I join them, I, I fold it over into double. So now we have our sleeve straight up without needing to like join the upper part. So on this, which is our previous, the front in which we cut before. You can see this is the front in which we cut before. In order to actually get your length, I'm just going to, because we joined the shoulder, the length is going to change a little bit. Actually, that's, that's that will happen. So in order to save yourself the hassle of having to trim the, um, the, the edges, just measure your length after you join your shoulder. After you join the, the front part of the agbada, I believe you guys are getting. Just measure your length straight down. So the fabric M itself to get the length which is 44 right so I'm just going to cut a length of 44 on this one so I'll be measuring 25 on this a uh, on this side right here do you get but before I measure the 25 I want to cut the both sleeve all together I believe you guys are paying attention to this so I will be cutting out 25 right but I want to cut this together, right? So I'll have to like double fold the fabric in order to cut one sleeve together. So I believe you guys see what I just did. Just fold it together and straighten it. So I can cut two with just one cutting. Just like that. So now I already iron it and I already fold in double. See that you see that I have this first sleeve and I have the second sleeve. I believe you guys understand. If you don't understand, put a comment, put your uh, question in the comment section below. I will be there to respond. So I'm going to mark my 25 at this side. So as you can see, I'm marking it after the edge of the fabric because that is not important. Like I'm not, I will not, I will not be using that edge of the fabric. So I'm going to mark my 25 here. I believe you can see it's after the rough edge, right? That I placed my 25. Okay, so here also, mark my 25. So I'm going to measure my length, which is going to be 44, right? Measure 44. So I'm going to connect all the lines together. I'm just going to connect all the lines together.
so after connecting it together i will cut them out so automatically we have our sleeve so after we join our embroidery after we make our embroidery on the agbada i will join them all together this is going to be just how to cut an agbada and the process of taking it for an embroidery right so this is what we're going to have and i'm going to cut this edge out as i said earlier because i will not be using the edge so i'm just going to cut it out so that's just the process of cutting an agbada as simple as possible i've got several requests of this so after finish with the embroidery i'm going to fold my sleeve which is going to be the three inches right the three inches i added extra for the sleeve m i'm going to fold it in and i'm going to i'm going to stitch it and i'm going to join each of this side to the extension of the sleeve itself do you guys understand so it's very very simple i've got several requests of people asking me to show them how to cut an agbada it is very 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 simple so our agbada is 100 percent complete light up right now so i will do the embroidery and i'll show you guys the coupling if you enjoyed the video make sure you give it a thumb up so this is what the agbada is going to look like after we've done the embroidery as you can see this is what it's going to look like so the next thing we're going to do now is to attach our sleeve extension so firstly i would advise you to iron these edges or the edges of the embroidery iron it from the inside in order to have a smooth face in order to have a smooth frame so the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to attach our sleeve so during the cutting video if you haven't watched it i would advise you to go and check it we cut our sleeve and we cut two sleeve extension which is one for the right and one for the left so on our sleeve we make a notch as you can see on my hand we make a notch that we're going to attach to the shoulder so let's take that to the sewing machine now and we're going to like align the shoulder and the that uh and the notch together sorry so in order to join the sleeve right here on my machine as you can see from the shoulder side as you can see i already chopped my fabric this is the wrong side so i'll be placing the right side of the fabric on the machine so the right side will be facing me as you can see so the right side of the fabric also will be facing the right side of the sleeve as you can see so i believe you can see that very simple so your right side has to be facing your right side of the fabric just like that so i'll be placing it on the sleeve and i'll be leaving an like an half of an inch for the turn up of the sleeve so as you can see i'm not sewing it just like straight up together i'm leaving like half of an inch for the turn up of the sleeve itself i believe you can see that so whenever you're doing this sleeve make sure your hand is straight and you are not dragging the fabric so that you will not be having gathers after this when the stitch after you sew it you can see that so you're, i'm going to start the stitch from the sleeve just straight down and i'm going to do the other side also so after i'm done stitching the both sides you can see that so the inside you're going to have this so you're just going to open it into two just like that and the next thing we're going to do now is to make our top stitch you're just going to bend it over over the stitch just like that you can see just just like that make sure your hand is straight and i'm going to start stitching at the tip of the fabric itself make sure you're stitching at the tip of the fabric at this part you can see that i have a little bit of extension it is longer than the sleeve itself it is no issue you might face that the same situation we are going to trim it off so as you can see how smooth that is your hand has to be very straight so that we will not be having gathers at the at the uh, on the stitch part so make sure you are not dragging your body your body eyes when doing that so i'll be doing the same thing on both sleeves like that so after we're done stitching it like that the next thing we are going to do is to give it a good ironing then we are going to fold our sleeve remember we added 3.5 inches on our sleeve when we were doing the cutting aspect so we were folding 3.5 inches 
so after ironing it you can see i already ironed the inside so the next thing i'm going to do is to fold in my sleeve as i said earlier i'll be folding three inches right three inches we added an extra three inches to our sleeve allowance during the cutting if you haven't seen the video of the cutting i would advise you to go and check it so i'll be folding half of an inch after i fold in my three inches i'll be folding half of an inch and i'll put in an aiming gum at that side to hold it down before i'll be doing the stitches on it so very very simple just do that so i already fold this let me show you guys it is very very important to do this after folding this edge like this and i fold half of an inch inside i'll be inputting my aiming gum the reason for this is basically because if you don't use an emmy gum and you sew your sleeve like that your thread will be making a gathers in the front after you sew it completely it won't be standing firm that's the reason for the aiming gum so that's about it so it's very simple just follow it up so as you can see after stitching the sleeve you can see how smooth it is and if you look at the front panel you can see that our stitch is just smooth just give it a good ironing just give it a good ironing and make sure it is very very smooth so the next thing we are going to do now is to close our M which is the leg part so just turn your fabric to the wrong side you can see so this is the wrong this is the right side while this is the wrong side so the two right side will be facing each other just like that you can see that so the right side will be facing each other So now I'm going to I'm going to mark my three inches. Remember we added three inches on our length when we were cutting it. I'm going to mark my three inches right there. And from the sleeve, I'm going to measure 7.5 at that side. Basically, it's always between 7.5 and 7 inches, depending on the length of your sleeve. For this one, it's a long it's a maxi. So I'll be stitching 7.5 at that side. You can see 7.5 just on that straight line and I will be doing the same thing on the other side of the sleeve exactly the same thing so after closing that side I can fold and do the same process I did on the sleeve on that hemming also around the stitch on it so after stitching that part you can see what I have I want you guys to pay attention to that you can see there is an opening for the leg at that side that's what we're going to have so i'm going to fold this upward just like that i'll be folding my three inches all straight down just like that very very simple so after folding it this is the first one so i just fold it by half of an inch at the tip so simply after that i'm going to put my emmy gum very very simple i'm going to put my aiming gum and i'm going to iron it so after putting the aiming gum i'm going to do the same thing on the other side also and give it a full ironing so that is all about making an agbada very very simple so after that all you just have to do is just to give it a good ironing so this is what we're going to have after giving it a good ironing fold it and that is about it if you enjoyed the video make sure you give it a like that's a thumbs up and if this is your first time on the channel make sure you subscribe to see more videos like this and i'm going to see you guys on my next video peace and enjoy yourself